everyone, Stacy Burke here, uh, wearing my vulture shirt and shorts, just watching some late night TV. There's Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi, my little princess Katie, my little baby girl. Anyway, I don't want. Um, I don't know even how to start this. It's kind of like my my Playboy Diaries, but it's not a Q and A. I think I've already told this story, but it's been. It's probably covered up in like so many videos. I don't even know where it's at. But I was just watching some late night TV about Playboy. And I just got triggered. And um, some girls were talking about their experiences at the Playboy Mansion. And they were saying like, they were the ones being bullied and all that kind of stuff and like they were trying to make Holly like she was the one trying to get rid of them and all that kind of stuff and I was there um <laughs> god there's just so much there's so much uh, but I'm just gonna tell you a couple stories when it was the seven girlfriends, and I was one of them. And at the time, I was very Pollyanna, very like, I was, I'm not as, <laughs> there's a Nigel, the one that eats my shoes. Anyway, um, I don't even know how to start this. I'm just gonna dive into it. I was just very naive. I was just very, I'm still naive, I guess, in a way, but I'm, I am a different person. I'm stronger a little bit. Um, but at the time, it is going to be playing. It's okay. Go ahead and play. Um, as one of the girlfriends, you would go to the salon to get ready. You go to Josie Hebert and the seven girlfriends, we'd all go there. I'm one of those people, I always show up early, always show up early. I'm always the first one there. You know, and, and when you go, all the girls would go to Josea Bear in Beverly Hills, that like you'd get the full treatment. They would either do your roots, wash your hair, do a, some kind of hairdo, up, down, whatever they want, do your makeup, do your nails, you know, the whole thing, right? Total detailed. And that's seven girls, so it takes a while. But I'm I'm an early riser, so I'm always there first. You would think I'd be the, the first one to leave as well. No. No, no. A lot of whispering, a lot of like, oh I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Can you oh oh Laurent, can you do this? Oh can oh oh Jose, can you do this? Like like they'll we'll all be in chairs. But they, they figured out a way how to get in and out of the salon faster than I did. I didn't have uh, that talent. I would just be quiet and let them do what they got to do. And if, and, and if someone else wanted attention, I would let them do it. But it was an all-day process. Like, that, we were there for, like, eight hours, and I'm not even kidding. Well, if you think about it, there's seven girlfriends. Yeah. I guess it was going take eight hours. I'm not kidding. Uh, because we're getting prepared to go out on Wednesdays and Friday nights. So you get there in the morning, and then Wednesday and Friday nights, we meet in the Great Hall at 7 sharp to take pictures and leave at 7 at seven p.m. sharp. So you try to get home at 5 to give you, you know, give, you know, get dressed and and kind of relax a little bit before you leave. Well, they would always push it to be, I was always the last one to leave. I was the first one there, the last one to leave. For some reason, the girls, the main girls knew how to work it where they got what they needed done faster than I did. Um, 
and I would just let it happen because I just didn't know how to, I just, I just, I pick and choose my battles and I didn't think that was a battle to be, I'm like, whatever, you know, whatever. Well, there was this one time where I was there so long and the other girls left and I was the last one. I was the first one there. Like I said, I was the first one there. I was so late and I was like, oh no, I don't know how I'm going to make it to the mansion on time for us to leave. I barely walked in the door at seven. Everyone's meeting, ready to take pictures. I'm not even dressed yet. I got to put, and I'm so, I'm, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying to get dressed. And they're waiting downstairs for me to take the group picture before we leave. As I'm trying to hurry to get dressed, Hef walks in my room, because at that time I had bedroom three. And he goes, honey, are you ready? And I go, I just got home, honey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll be ready soon, I'll be ready soon. And he goes, well, we'll just send a car for you because we're, re we're ready to go. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. And I was just devastated that he's waiting for me and, I'm, and I, I, I made them wait and now I don't get to be in the group picture and they're leaving in the limo and I, now I get a trail car. So, and I knew, I knew what was happening. I knew they did that on purpose. The mean girls did that to me. I did nothing. Let me tell you. I did nothing to them. I don't understand where this meanness came from. And and I love Holly. It had nothing to do with Holly being the hierarchy. I love Tina Jordan. She was great. I loved everybody. At this time, I didn't know why there were some mean girls. And a couple of them I knew through doing fetish modeling and doing adult modeling on the scene, right? So I don't know why they have it in for me. Don't know why. Other than I'm a dork, I'm a geek, I'm an introvert, I'm odd. I don't know. Not that glamorous or whatever. Whatever. I don't know. All I'm trying to do is hurry up and get ready. And so uh, the trail car came and got me. And we're in a restaurant. For some reason, we, had, we went to a restaurant that day. I don't know why. It was a different place. And I sat down. Of course, all eyes on me. And the mean girls are all... <laughs> and I'm... I kind of had it. I just like... I sat down like that. And Hef goes, oh, so happy to see you here. Da, da, da. Everything was fine. Everything was great. But the mean girls knew what they did. So they were checking me out to see what my reaction was. And I just looked at them like, like I looked at them like, I know what you did. You did this on purpose. I know what you did. And three of them were like, oh, you know, whatever. But one of them, the meanest to me, came to me. Oh, Stacy, that's how she talked. Oh, Stacy, I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> I go, I know what you did. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. And I looked at her, I go, I know you think I'm a Pollyanna, but don't confuse weakness. Or I said, don't confuse niceness for weakness. I know I'm a Pollyanna, but I'm not weak. Oh, what are you talking about? It's just like trying to blow it off. Like, and, and, and I go, I know you did that on purpose and that wasn't cool. I just basically called her out. And I started crying and they started getting nervous because of Hef would see me cry and the mean girls around me, and especially after knowing that I was late and stuff, the visual would not be good for them. I started to cry. And so all of a sudden they got very sympathetic. Because I know, you know, I was like, you know, I didn't call you Pollyanna. I don't know why is it Pollyanna. I think that was brought up that she called me Pollyanna. I go, I know I'm probably a Pollyanna. I make no apologies for being a Pollyanna. But don't confuse that for weakness, I said. I see what you're doing. 
That was one of the times I've, I've really stood up for myself, kind of. Uh, and so that happened. And so to see on these TV shows and these interviews how they said all of a sudden, oh, they were being picked on and they were bullied, they started it. It took a while for us to get a backbone and fight back. They voted me off the island first. And then they brought the Sheila chick in. And then she's in the pictures, but I don't know what happened to her. They brought her in. Um, yeah. But, as we all know, I never left. It worked out okay. But I'm talking at that time, it was just devastating how they all teamed up against me and two of the girls that teamed up against me, I knew before Playboy, and I worked on adult films with them. Another thing is how mean they were, especially this one. Everyone did get dogs. Now, I had cats, so I had three cats living at the Playboy Mansion with me in room three, so I'm fine. Which is another thing. I think because it was almost like grading on the curb. I didn't need anything. I didn't ask for anything, which they didn't like because they, they all wanted something. And if I don't ask for anything, it makes them look bad. But anyway, yes, they all got dogs. And at that time, I really did like pugs and Pomeranians. And I made a comment to one of them who's into pugs. I go, it's so cool that I'm at the Playboy Mansion because my favorite dogs are pugs and Pomeranians. And that's what the Playboy Mansion. She goes, <laughs> stop lying. <laughs> that's not true. I don't believe you. And I go, no. I mean, at the time, now it's different. Now I'm every dog. I like dogs that start with a B. Like I love boxers. I love Boston Terriers. I love bulldogs. I like French bulldogs, English bulldogs. Like all, I, I love those kind of dogs, the big jowls. You know, I love those. But at that time, I did like pugs and Pomeranians. I was being honest. And she goes, eh. when I told her that, trying to befriend her, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. You know, you like pugs and, and you know, there's pugs and Pomeranians. And I, I love pugs and Pomeranians. <laughs> you know, that's a liar. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I don't think, I don't believe you. She so would say that to me. And then I already talked about in the limo where I'm laughing, I'm having fun, and she grabs me by the neck and she pinches me really hard. And I know what she's doing. And I go, I'm a fetish model. I'm used to pain. Do it harder. She goes, don't tap me. <laughs> so it's like, these mean girls all of a sudden coming up and <gasps> crying. <laughs> we were bullied. Oh, police. Yeah. Have some tissue. Accountability is a funny thing, isn't it? It's so easy to be a victim, but not really. Being a victim sucks. It takes years to get the karma back. And I don't know, I'm sure they have good qualities because one r runs a rescue and all that. That's that's actually good. That's actually admirable. Yay. But I know I didn't do anything to warrant any of the hatred that I got from those girls. I know for a fact because I didn't have anything. I just didn't have anything. And I still don't. But to see them on the screen we were bullied and then like I don't know some I, I could go on there's probably more I want to say I just got to digest it but there's not a whisk there's not enough whiskey in this household to die to make that chase that 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 funk go down there's not enough whiskey but at least you know, some things got plugged in. <laughs> you know, like some some other things came to the top. Whatever. I don't. I, I don't want to get into it. Like, 
Anyway, I just want to say that. I'll probably say more as it comes in. I don't want to be rambling, but I just wanted to get that out. Um, that to make it seem like they want that, like Holly wanted to oust oust them. Yeah, probably Holly wanted them gone when when she got bullied and I got bullied and Bridget got bullied. We all started getting bullied. Yeah. And Tina Jordan was great. I love Tina. Tina Tina was wonderful. I love her. I have no problems with Tina at all. She was great. But she wanted to move out and she wanted to move out. You know? And then and then uh, Holly was the main girl. Holly was the main girl. She never bullied me. Holly never bullied and and she, she could have. She didn't know me. The other girls knew me. She didn't know me. Took her a while to get to know me, you know? So it's like, even if there was a time she wanted to get rid of me, I wouldn't hold it against her because she didn't know me at the time. Now she knows me and she know, she started to get to know me later and we all got along because we were bullied by them. So, be careful when you tell stories because there's other people that were there. And I speak up. Anyway, that's it for now. So, um, good for them. Good for them. They seem they, they got their lives okay. All right? But please, please, don't say you're bullied. You have... No. 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 I mean, if you were bullied... Maybe it was justified, you know? And at least it came out of nowhere, like he did me. And try to blame, like, oh, porn, we're voting up for porn. Well, you knew I did it. I had a website, stacyburke.com, before I even started dating half. And yes, they had Google back then, and everyone knew I had a website. Everyone could see what was on there. Everyone knew what I did. I just didn't like put a sign outside my door like, guess what I did? Everyone knew it. And probably have did too. <laughs> so don't be like, oh, you didn't want to be associated with I had a website. <laughs> I had t-shirts. When we would go out, I had t-shirts that says stacyburke.com on them. Hello. <laughs> oh well. I'll talk more about this. So stay tuned. To all my stays cadets and all my briquettes. I hope you have a groovy day. Oh, perfect shirt by the way. <laughs> Peace.